the almighty king, so enemies beware. Well, I've never seen a king of beasts with quite so little hair. I'm gonna be the main effect, like no king was before. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my floor. <laughs> the spy, rather. Greetings, salutations, Ruth the Great here. And I get to review another Black Panther figure. This is the Walmart exclusive Black Panther movie energy wave something. I don't know exactly what they're calling this. It's just something that showed up like, oh, where the hell did this come from? And I, right, it's another Black Panther figure. <sighs> so if you saw, I just did my review on that one. Don't care. But now I get to do one on this one, which I think is actually pretty dope. So looking at the box, top of the box. That's some dope colors. I like the colors on this one. Side of the box, other side of the box. Though that is some dope artwork. <laughs> and back of the box, there's, wait, hold on, correction. Here's the bio. All right. I got the new phone, the new camera, so I'm still learning how to use some of this. So let's get this open, get to some posing, articulation, and all that mumbo jumbo. Here he is outside the box. And you wonder why I did do this with the black background and it kind of looks like a charcoal gray, but I wanted this these pink lines to come through more. I mean, it's, it's a nice effect. I love it on the figure. And if these were to glow in the dark, that would be so dope. If this was glow in the dark paint, it would be so dope. But you know, hey, you know, you get what you get. Now, everything I was looking on this, I mean, it's pretty much a retooling of, I don't care. Now the Civil War Black Panther is just a little bit better. Uh, mine always had problems with the arm and stay, but it does come with stuff. I mean, it comes with this extra head right here, which I think it shouldn't have, but I guess it's a, a something in the movie. Turn that, let me turn this a little more of this. Way. Yeah, it probably has something to do with the movie. And why it's a solid black so I guess it's a spoiler you take this one and you can see it's it's the same head <laughs> except this one has yellow eyes and the pink on it which is dope and one thing I like about it is you notice this head you had more of the pointy Batman type ears whereas this one he looks more like a, it looks more like a cat and I'm I'm happy for that I mean like hey you know you put the ears back a little further instead of pointing them up you put them down further which makes it all right so that is actually a pretty good sculpt right there I like this pink on it uh, you do get two sit two sets of hands you get the, the balled up fist you see that design on there And you get these claw hand, claw type hands. And they do have the same design on the back, which is pretty cool. And then you get this necklace that he wears. Now, if you notice on all the Black Panther figures that you print out, they always have a necklace. I'm always dropping stuff. Leave me alone. <laughs> you see the Panther symbol right there? Again, we're going to have to see the movie in order to see why this is this way. And of course, you know, you have these right here, these energy waves or whatever it is. And of course, everybody knows what these are because they're just retools of everything. You know, they use these so much. I mean, like you can see that the same way. I mean, that's how you keep a figure at $20. Reuse everything we have. Well, we already have the molds. But going into some of this articulation, I'm going to take this necklace off of him. Let's 
zoom out a little or should I say zoom in more there we go all right and you see what his head can look that far up which is amazing <laughs> you can look that far down this is actually really good you can see the pivot right there Nick but this is really good I mean look at that he looks all the way up thank you for that Hasbro because not all the other figures really had that all right poltergeist motion can tilt side to side a little bit he does get 360 motion on the arm uh, his arm does come up. Mine are stuck. I gotta take a, a, dry, a blow dryer to him. I didn't get a chance to do it, but it's getting stuck a little, so I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna break it. But it's mainly because of this part right here. So once you push it in, it can see how this one I pushed it in, so it moved up. So once I do that, the whole arm moves. Just takes some getting used to. All right, bicep swivel. Yes, bro, y'all need to work on your quality control. All right. And you can see double jointed elbow. Now, um, mine is a little soft. This one may end up having to go back because this one has some stiffness to it and some give to it. Whereas this one just bends all the way, like so simple. So I got to be careful with that. Wrist rotation, when you can work it out, it moves some. Yeah. You do get, as you can see, this detailed on this. This is actually really good. This is really good paint work on this. I'm not seeing too many blemishes on it. I mean, you can see one right there in the center and some right there, but that's some really good paint work. Right there, right there. I'm pretty sure, yes, it's gonna make sense when we watch the movie. All right, diaphragm. Crunch. You do get the hip rotation right here, or waist rotation, however you wanna say it. Leg does go around three, uh, can go around like you know, got some give right there. Thigh cut, double joint knee, boot cut. You do get an ankle rocker, and then you do have this pivot on there when it wants to pivot. All right, the figure can kick that far up. And can kick that far back. Make him run like Gumby. But yeah, it's a it's a really dope figure. And here he is, standing next to More Machine and Falcon. I mean, I had to do I had to just put them in the shot real quick because if you remember in the trailer for Infinity War, them two are in there flying around in the background. So, yeah, I why not why not put them in there? Why not? FYI, we need a 12-inch version of War Machine, guns and all. But he's a if you're collecting these figures, man, Black Panther, uh, he's got some good articulation to do you work with. Um, heat up those shoulders just so you can get those get those moving around. Everything else, I mean, he's just he's a normal another Black Panther figure that we need. It's just the movie version and these energy blasts. I mean, besides the paint apps on this one, could you do without this one? Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the new Black Panther. If you've seen the new Black Panther wave, it's the same figure, it's just they repainted it. It's just a retooling of this one. I don't care. And they just made another Black Panther figure. So, I mean, it could be worse. We could have got some crap. But that Black Panther wave is pretty dope. And I'm just, I'm happy to have this one in my collection too. And plus, y'all know me. I like variant suits. So, this is just something really dope. 
So until next time, I mean, if you again, if you can find this, get it. If you can't, it's all good. But until next time, continue watching your pockets. <laughs> Don't spend it if you ain't got it. And as always, no matter what you do in this world, no matter what you do at life, be great at it. <laughs>